G'day, Starlo here. When it comes to fly fishing for trout, there are so many options in terms of the gear and the flies we use and how we present those flies. One of the more overlooked strategies, in my opinion, is swinging one or more wet flies down and across a flowing stream. This is actually an old and very traditional form of fly fishing for all salmonid species, but it's one that tends to get forgotten in the modern era. Trust me, it still works. Today I'm on the Tumut River in southwestern New South Wales, and the flow rate is just right for swinging a couple of weighted nymphs on a floating line and a long leader. I work my way out into the stream, making a few short casts to cover the water immediately in front of me as I go. The main current and the deeper water here is along the far bank, and that's where I'm expecting to find a few trout, but I don't want to miss or spook any on my way out. Once I get into my preferred position, I start reaching out with some slightly longer casts towards those prime lies under the far bank. The current here is flowing from my right to my left as shown. I get the flies out and allow my rig to swing downstream in the current. And almost immediately I'm rewarded. That's a solid fish. Coming at me. Ooh. Oh, what a great jump. <laughs> Lively little chap. Now, I think you're on the dropper, aren't you? No, I might be on the point fly after all. Yep, it's on the point fly, the bigger, heavier fly that I'm using to get the rig down. Yet another chunky little Tumut River rainbow. The best looking fish. <laughs> That's the fly that one took and up here is my much smaller dropper fly it's on about a oh probably about an 18 hook absolutely tiny just thought that might be the go with this brighter sunnier conditions all right I'll talk you through a, a typical down and across swing here the rivers fairly wide here but it's not running that hard so I get my flies out there straight across and just mend the line a little bit just to let them get down that fairly heavy point fly will pull them down quite quickly and then I come tight with everything and those flies ooh, are bumping along the bottom I actually felt the bottom there I don't think that was a fish but it means they're down there in the strike zone and my dropper fly is a bit higher up. Yeah, I'm definitely making contact with the bottom all through there, which is really good. And I allow everything to swing and straighten down here below me. You can do this when there's a nice gentle current like this. Those flies are still fishing really nicely and everything's starting to straighten out. Now, normally the flies would then start to lift in the current, but there's so little current here once it gets out of that main stream that I can just strip slowly and fish the flies back fairly deep in the water column and you'll pick a few fish up doing that as well keep doing this and you will catch fish I reckon the big trick is to have a picture in your head of where your flies are and what they're doing here with my long leader they're following the floating line downstream they're well behind the line and down deep in the water column, just where I want them to be. Where the current's a bit stronger, you may need to make your cast more downstream to begin with. Nearly up in the trees. This reduces the current drag on the belly of line. You'll have a shorter drift and swing, but it'll let your flies get down more effectively than casting them straight across the current. Sometimes I'll feed out a short length of extra line after making the cast. Ooh, 
had the lightest of touches. Mending like this helps too. Get right over under that opposite bank. That simply means throwing a belly of line upstream onto the water after casting to let the flies sink. You can mend a couple of times through a swing. It might take you a while to get a feel for this, but don't stress. While ever you have flies in the water, you're fishing and you're in with the show. A few insects starting to flap around. Caddis by the looks of things. This is a really good spot where it straightens out below you and swings across the current. It's just about a perfect flow rate for this. At the end of the swing, take a step downstream, strip in, cast again, mend and repeat. By slowly moving downstream, you're covering new water on every cast, but mix up your presentations too. You can try different lines as well. Full floaters, sink tips, intermediates, full sinking lines, they all have their place. Sometimes I'll just bounce the rod tip a little bit as it all straightens out down there, just to give the, the fly a little bit of action. The trout will take it for a nymph leaving the bottom and rising up through the water column to hatch. That's a better fish. Wow, he was over close to that timber. <laughs> I was swinging it right down the face of the, the trees there. Took it really well. With the sun out, I think these shadowy areas under the under the trees are just prime. And he's got a little bit more weight to him. Looks like he might be on the dropper too. No, he's on the point fly again. I would have picked him for being way bigger than that. Strong fish. Beautiful colours on this one. Come on. Oh. It's giving me all sorts of grief. There we go. The colours on that. Perfect. Seriously, if you've never tried swinging wets or nymphs in a river, give it a go. It can be a deadly strategy on the right day. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines.